It's another gate. Tell people to stay out there. They're supposed to be here. No, like people that trespass. Hi everyone, another day. And this is my daughter. What is your name? Yana, we're talking. And we are here, a day of fun in Juliet Muscle Loader. So, it's a nice day today, just a little bit humid. Well, not a little bit, very humid, I should say. And I would like you to see the view of the place. It's really very relaxing. There's no much people here shooting. So, so far today, we are so lucky. There's no much people here, only me, my daughter, and my husband, and I will show you the place. Um, what is that? So, Fio, where are we right now? We're at the shooting place and my dad is a member of here. So, we're going to go back. Oh, come here, Nafi. So, what's that for? This is gunpowder, black powder. 80 grains black powder. So this is the measurement? Mm -hmm. How to measure. Yeah. So why you need to put a cloth? That's a patch. So it grabs the rifling and makes it spin as it goes down the barrel. You don't want too much patch. So I use this patch knife that my friend Jerry Gabriel gave me years ago. Just a ball starter. So where do you use this uh, kind of musket? 1700s. Early, early 1800s. It was used, this was pre-revolutionary war style. Are you the one built your musket? Yeah, for parts. So I'm fighting it in, trying to get the right spot, you know, 25 yards. Yeah, shake 
rifle around, makes the powder lay down flat in the pan. Put it back at full cock. on the trigger. So we will go home now. This is the end of our day. It's so humid and hot. My gosh. We just need a shampoo and a soap here. And we are all set. I guess. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> Fiona, are you okay back there? <laughs> just, I'm just coming from the Philippines. <laughs> look at, look at Mar. He's so, he's sweating so bad. We need it's to go home. Out. We need to go home. It's so, it's so hot. I'm super sweating. I know you are. That's why we need to go home. Yeah. So at first, I'm really scared to uh, shoot a musket because you know it's it's big and it's heavy and it's like smoking and it's like what do you call that fire coming out flare flash yeah it flashed so bad and at first when i saw mark um shooting it it really scared me out but then now today i tried it it was fun it's really good it didn't it's not have a strong recoil and i guess it's fun yeah, you just very need, fun, just very sweaty today. Yeah, you just need to put it in a uh, like what do you call that? That rest, right? Yeah, oh, you, s sit the rifle in the rack. That's just the beginning. Yeah, you just need to put something to um, put the rifle because the, the, the musket really is so big, it's so tall, and it's so heavy. And even me, I can't lift it. And um, I guess it's taller than me, you know? So I can't imagine back in the days, you know, in the civil war here in America, I just can't imagine those days, the use of musket. And if you guys, you love watching um, history and uh, civil war, you can see that's what they're carrying the whole day when they were fighting. And you know, when they, they reload, uh, what do you call that? Rifle. The, the rifle when they when they reload it they died before they finish reloading it because you know it's hard to like you put the powder you put the the what they call that cloth ball. you put the ball you put the cloth and you need to press it down and then somebody shoot it somebody shoot you already so that's how you can see back in the days so today you have um a short view of how it goes the war back in the days using the musket and it's really 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 terrible for me you know just we're well, shooting it it's not but the the weight of carrying it the weight when you shoot it and the process of loading the musket oh boy that's that's pretty terrible for me because like i i said before you load the, ball, the the rifle, you're already dead. Somebody shoot you already, right, Dad? I hope. <laughs> okay, that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.